Everyone says you should love yourself, but how do you love yourself when it feels hard to? In this video, I'm going to break it down into three simple steps you need to take to start your self journey today. Now, before I jump into my three step framework on how to love yourself when it feels hard to, I want to answer one very important question. And that is, why is it so hard to love yourself? In some cases, it's because we didn't receive the proper love and affection as children. And we internalize the belief that we had to morph ourselves into whatever the other person needed us to be to feel loved. In other cases, our parents took great care of us, but they couldn't teach us self-love because they didn't know how to love themselves either. We're suffering now as adults because we haven't allowed ourselves to properly express the pain of not getting the love we deserve. We don't give ourselves the love we desperately needed from our parents, primary caretakers. The truth is, we simply don't know how. For some of us, there might be other factors involved. For example, we could think that we are undeserving of love and that also includes self-love. We could have the toxic belief that self-love is selfish, which might be preventing us from showing ourselves some love and self-compassion. Whatever the reason might be for you, the fact that you're watching this video right now means that you're ready to learn how to love yourself even if it feels hard to. So let's jump into step number one, which is to become more self-aware. Awareness itself is curative. Meaning, when you're aware of your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, that's more than enough to make a change in your life, which in this case is to observe yourself objectively and non-judgmentally. For example, next time you start beating yourself up, notice the stories you keep telling yourself and take note of all the times you're criticizing yourself and diminishing your worth throughout the day. A great way to increase your self-awareness is to try out journaling. If you're new to journaling or you've tried it before, but it didn't really resonate with you, I have three amazing questions to ask yourself when you're struggling with self-love. Question number one, what do I want my relationship with myself to look like? Describe the relationship you want to have with yourself. How would you show up for yourself differently? How would you soothe yourself when life gets tough? What would your life look like once you put yourself first and prioritize meeting your emotional needs? Two, what small step can I take to be kinder to myself today? If you had to do just one small thing to give yourself some love today, what would you do? Here are some suggestions to get you inspired. Spend 30 minutes doing something just for yourself. Next time you feel like judging yourself, I want you to pause, reflect, and choose a more loving thought instead. Take that long, relaxing bath that you've been postponing because you needed to take care of everybody else first. Three, what do I need to work on when it comes to my relationship with myself? Are you being too critical of yourself? Afraid of making mistakes? Are you neglecting your needs? These questions were directly taken from the Self-Love Toolkit, which is my proven step-by-step -step framework that will help you learn to love yourself unconditionally. If you want to learn more, click the link in the description box below or head over to www.theselflovetoolkit.com. Okay, now let's get into my second tip on how to love yourself when it feels hard to, and that is to forgive yourself. When you find it hard to love yourself, you often carry a lot of shame, guilt, and other difficult emotions that you need to let go of first. So I want you to be honest with yourself and think about all the negative stories you've been playing in your mind on repeat. Do you feel guilty for being a bad daughter, partner, or mother? In what ways are you shaming yourself and not letting yourself shine? How can you forgive yourself for past mistakes and realize that we are all flawed and that's just part of being human? When you forgive yourself, you're gonna open up to all the healing that needs to take place in order for you to embrace yourself as you are and love yourself unconditionally. I have a free masterclass called Three Confidence Secrets Every Woman Needs to Know. If you want to reserve your spot and get your hands on some exclusive bonuses, head over to coachsimono.com slash masterclass. The next step you can take when you find it hard to love yourself is to manage your expectations. This is a huge one. If you expect to start loving yourself overnight after years of being mean to yourself, I'm going to be honest with you, that's simply not going to happen. But if you take 15 minutes every day to work on reframing your negative thoughts and learning how to be gentle and kind to yourself, you'll start seeing results very soon. When you're struggling with self-love, that often means that you're putting too much pressure on yourself. You're forcing it. And as a defense mechanism, a huge part of you is resisting it. I get it. It's hard. But it doesn't have to be. All you need to do is take a few small steps and celebrate every win. For example, if you choose to eat healthy instead of binging junk food, that's an act of self-love. If you choose to go to bed instead of scrolling on social media, that's also an act of self-love. Whatever leads to long-term gratification over short-term gratification is often the right path. Now, if you want to go even deeper on the topic of loving yourself when it feels hard to, make sure to watch this video next. 
Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in that video.